booth Change number five at CPAC any. in Orlando, Four. Florida. I'm gonna quit talking because I know you guys know who this is. I'll let him introduce himself and we'll get the ball rolling. Hello everyone, I just got here to CPAC. Everybody's wondering where I was. I've been busy, I've been busy. <laughs> Um, very we've, busy. Uh, yeah, I've been very busy and uh, lots of stuff going on. Um, um, I keep seems like I keep getting canceled more and more each day. <laughs> and uh, how has experiencing cancel culture affected you? Did you ever think it would happen to you? Did you kind well, of expect we kind, it? We went through it, you know, at my pillow. We went through it four times now. Uh, we went through it when I first met Donald Trump in the summer of 16. I met him in a private meeting. I, you know, I was an ex addict. I didn't know anything about politics and. Uh, and I met him uh, in, uh, it was August 15, 2016. Met him in a private meeting. We talked about bringing, he talked about, I'm gonna bring the jobs back. And it, we talked about my pillow being made in the USA. And, and I said, I used to be a crack addict. He said, well, I'm gonna stop the drugs pouring in. We talked about my Lindell Recovery Network. I love that. Org. By the way, if you're an addict out there, go to Lindell Recovery Network org. You can get the best online help ever. And when I got back to Minnesota, you know, that time in August, I actually, um, I got out of that meeting. I said he's going to be the greatest president ever if this is, if he does this stuff. And I uh, I went and talked to his employees, and it was like you know every one of them had the same story: great boss, great man, everything I had just seen. I uh, had a personal story to talk to him about, you know, that he had to help them out personally. Well, I got back to Minnesota, and. I went to do a, I was going to do a press release and my board of directors, they go, if you do that, you're, uh, um, you're going to hurt half our business. And, and I walked out in the hallway and one of my, my CMO came out. She says, we didn't get this all this way by you not listening to God. And I said, that's right. And I went back in and I said, we're going to do that press release. We didn't get all this way by me not listening to God. You know, we, we pray about the decisions I do that I make. And, uh, and anyway, I did that press release and, Every, and I was the media's darling then, and they would, uh, and um, you know, I could say we're adding onto a building. There'd be 20 media outlets there. Well, this time was different. Nobody called. Nobody wrote. And then I was attacked. I was attacked by bots and trolls. But I thought they were real people. And it's scary. You know, I thought they were real people. It's it upsetting sometimes. Yeah, I thought I was the worst person on the planet. I go, what did I do? They called me a racist. They called me all these things, and. But so my company, then the Better Business Bureau, took us from an A plus to an F on all these political, we were there, darling, too, all these attacks by outlets. I'm going, what did I do? I, you know, it didn't make sense. So my employees got a taste of it then, and we did it, my pillow. But we survived that. An article came out that year in 2017. It was an article about my life, about um, the American dream, you know, being on a, a recovering addict to where I'm at now. I mean, that, that's the American dream. It could only happen here. and. And, uh, and then it happened last fall, or last spring, rather. It happened again. It's happened four times now. But last spring, you all know, I talked from the Rose Garden. When the president let me, let me go out there, we talked about what my pillow was doing to help out the country making masks and all these things. And, and I thought, you know, I'm going to give a good message of hope. And I said, let's spend time. I said a nation had turned its back on God. And we need to spend time reading our Bibles, getting back in the Word. And... Um, when I did that, you would have thought I killed somebody. I mean, you know, I mean they, they, uh, they attacked again, and I did 109 interviews in seven days, actually five days, I think. It was nonstop. Wow. And, but the whole country and the world stuck up for me there. The, I mean, everybody just like, you know, these bots and trolls and these people that are, you know, this is a spiritual battle we're in. And then, then it happened again last summer when uh, this guy brought me anything people would bring me for this pandemic. I would bring out to the uh, the task force, and it was uh, at back then. It was myoleander.com. I brought it out there, and people started. They attacked me. Anderson Cooper attacked me on TV, uh, 24 minutes straight. I'm going. I'm just trying to help. Uh, you know, we're all in a crisis here. So, and then the bots and trolls really came out. Then they that started the cancel culture. I lost five uh, five companies back then. QVC, um, Home Shopping Network, Zulily. These that was last summer so I got a taste of it but we survived once again my pillow and then now now is something I've never seen before uh, in history I mean they over 20 retailers have dropped my pillow um, I've had um, um, Google I can't even buy my own name my own name Mike Lindell I have my own website, Michael J. Lindell, and now we switched it to LindellTV.com. Yeah. We switched it over, 
And uh, I mean, they won't uh, they won't let me buy my own name. And for a while, they charged me up to a dollar for a click for my own name, oh and my then gosh. and suppress that. Wikipedia has taken over my Wikipedia. Another terrible organization, uh, corrupt, and I can say that right here. Wikipedia, very corrupt, um, and uh, and you got all these. It's like it's a fight every day to the media, the social social media, the um, um, you know from Twitter. Yes, sir. They, what what social media? You don't have yeah, any I don't anymore. Have any. They Twitter took me off, to, and then they took me off my company Twitter, which I kind of antagonized you Jack Dorsey. Did. I said, Jack, you're going to prison, you know, so I, okay, take him down, Jack, take him down. You were joking, you said, I don't know if you're actually probably weren't joking, you said, I wanted them to delete it. Yeah, no, I posted I, it on purpose. Right, you're just, you're right. trolling them now. Yeah, I was trolling genius. them. That's I wanted them level. every day for 20 some days in a row, I did something where the media then would, co would come and say, wow, you're getting, um, um, this is happening, you're getting canceled on, uh, on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Mark Suck Buck won't let me stream live. Mark Zuckerberg will not let me stream live on Facebook. I encourage everybody when we come out with these new platforms, everybody's switching. I'm going to be announcing that later in the week. And, and it's sickening. Let's go back. Just rewind. I know this is important to you. You started a new website. So let's just yeah, yeah. Talk, talk about that yeah, for a second. It's lindeltv.com. And what I'm doing, I'm putting information out there. Everybody's looking for hope. Everybody's looking for things going on. There's an interesting thing right now. I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, I'm going to announce this. In, uh, in Arizona, um, there's a group, and it's on my website, lindelltv.com. They're actually going after politicians, starting with Doug Ducey. Everybody know Doug? Well, uh, Doug, we're Arizona. taking, we're doing a recall. This is the stuff that my group's doing now. We're recalling Doug and all these other politicians in in Arizona. They've had it, and uh, they're pulling it out. You know, yeah, yeah. 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 And, you have quite an audience yeah, here right now as right. well. Right. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And there's going to be stuff up there that everybody can get involved in. If you're in Arizona right now, you go there. You can get the papers for these recall. I put resources into there. We're fighting back. This is, this is ridiculous what's going on in our country. And um, they, um, we're starting with Arizona because right now, if you all get involved, it's ground zero. There's a, uh, we, just, we just won a case yesterday where there's um and uh, i gotta be careful here <laughs> thank you we appreciate it <laughs> there's uh anyone go to my website lindelltv.com how about that we'll, we'll say lindelltv.com you know, nowadays nowadays you can't nowadays uh with free speech you got to be careful what's free and what's not <laughs> so right now there's clearly um it's almost like a piece missing in the republican party we're looking for a leader yeah. we want someone that can take us to the next level right and it, it could be anyone but you've kind of stepped into a somewhat of a leadership position while not even being a politician. Right, right. Were you expecting that to happen? Because a lot of people <laughs> look up to you. You can right. see that right here. Well, you know, I, I don't know if I expected it, but it's if God put me, my pillow is just a platform for something much bigger. And it's, uh, you know, for me, it's, uh, you know, it was easy to step into that role because I do have a platform, at least, even though they're trying to suppress my voice, I'm getting it out there. People, you know, absolutely getting it out there. And um, um, I, you know, God put me here for such a time as this. We all have a calling and every one of us needs to get involved. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And you were so and, passionate about just getting yeah, here today. Yeah, I had to get here. I've had so much going on and I wanted to get here to go down media road, to get the voice out, to get, get out a word of hope. Uh, well, I hate to do it. You know, I yeah. love you, but due to YouTube's guidelines, we will get our whole platform shut down if okay, we talk about okay, okay. Um, vaccines. Vaccine. Just, well, this is over in Israel. I, yeah, <laughs> I know. We love you. We love you. We love you. Um, so let's just say, let's focus on what you're doing here today, talking to the media. Is there any specific other networks that you want to go to? Yeah, I want to go to if there's any bad ones here. I like talking on the bad media because they never take me That's on. That's true. You, know? you they, called and you said, yeah. hey, I want CNN. Yeah, How I can want I get CNN. To CNN? I want these guys, and I don't know if they're here. They never have me on. I want to get the words out that I want to get out there what's going on. But uh, I know OAN's here. What a great what a great network. They um, um, And I, I don't know who's out here. The Epic Times. I mean, there's they a are. lot of... There's, yeah, we came yeah. in from this direction, so there's really yeah. not that many as compared to a usual year, but we're going right. to go down. We'll see some America's Voice standing out there, so we'll go to them right. as well right. and hand you over in just a minute. Yeah. One thing that I find unique, and I'll, I'll get you going, get you rolling to the other networks, but 
something that I've seen is that there's almost like they're trying to cancel you, but they're doing quite the opposite. You've seen a lot of success yeah. lately, especially with my pillow. We toured the factory recently, right. and you had more orders than you could even produce. Right. You got yeah. Everyone's got behind us, especially you guys. I mean, um, right side broadcasting has been amazing. Everyone watching. We have over 110 products, and you guys went through the company, and everyone. We're not just pillows anymore. No, no you're and, really uh, not. You have throw blankets, right, duvet right. covers, you name it. It's but in robes. the in the short term here, with all those 20 companies that uh, that canceled us. In the short term, people are buying direct, and it's been absolutely amazing. My employees, they're very confident. They're, you know, there's 2,500 families that are U.S. families. You know, their jobs, their kids, and uh, they're so grateful for everybody. Look, at this. Look what we have yeah, on the screen right yeah, now. Yeah, this is all the ones that canceled us. What a shame. Um, you know, some of them is right from Minnesota. Shop HQ, five miles away. I helped them build that company up and then they do this and it's just terrible you know and it's not you know the beginning and I think what you're finding now and is uh, the companies that stayed with us these other box stores that stay with us they're di they're twice as busy now you know because and I told some of these CE these CEOs I told some of them I said these aren't your customers these bots and trolls that are attacking you these are hired um, things like Sleeping Giant, these are hired hit groups that attack companies and uh, some of them are based in China that just, uh, they'll sit in a room yeah. and just attack, like, just like tens yeah, of they're trolls yeah. so if you follow there. a feed if anybody out there, if you have a business or a person, these bots and trolls, you look at them and they don't have any friends, they're going ah, you don't have any friends and I, it, it, it makes me it makes me laugh I'll see people arguing with a you bot you can tell you know? when it's fake, it's yeah. so obvious but it's been, but everybody's been great for the support and, uh, and like you guys have just been everybody's been keeping our keeping our employees busy i love that yeah. you have so many employees from all different walks of life we saw that it was an incredibly impressive facility we love for the tour and you mentioned that buying direct has really just saved y'all kept your business just booming yeah so if you're watching this and you love mike like we do and you want to support him please go to mypillow.com and use code rsbn for up to 66 percent off on your entire purchase before we send you to the next one i know that we have 53,000 watching so 10,000 wow. joined in the past like 10 wow. minutes that we've been sitting here right. let's give some sh you want to give some shout outs to the chat yeah it's i want to say fast. something first about this great network Aww. um you're pro mostly or not most but it's almost half of the proceeds i'm going to give today to help out this network we have we need voices and these guys are the best and uh we met what three or four years ago and yeah, kept, kept saying mike i want to get on board <laughs> And uh, I here tried we so are. Hard. Yes, yes. <laughs> and now we're and, friends. And, yes, thought? absolutely. He and knows it, but they're wonderful. but they're amazing. And uh, and also you can get my book nine, for only nine ninety seven and free shipping. This book will help anyone out there, anyone that's in addiction, um, and uh, anyone that needs hope. And uh, I just want to put that out there. It's too, absolutely so. wonderful. But yeah, we there's a it. shout out here. Wow, there's it's people. It's going so fast. It's going I so fast it. here. Hold it. <laughs> I'm trying um, to, let's see, we'll give one shot. Okay, here's one. Let's see. Karma yeah, Baby 34 yeah. says, we love Mike yeah. Lindell, Winter Night. No. We support what you, I Mike. really, it's What I really appreciate, I appreciate everyone in this country. I'm not, I have not, people said, Mike, you're not uh, giving up on anything. I said, absolutely not. And it's a, uh, and they say you've, it's such a sacrifice. I haven't been home in two months, oh. and uh, it's uh, it, I do not like uh, being away from my grandkids, and my niece and nephews. But um, you know what I'm doing is uh, it's uh, giving people hope. And like I say, we're starting in Arizona uh, right now, and and I'm not giving up. I, I think um, our future, this country, and our grandkids and kids, everything is in and all in. And I just want people to look at lindelltv.com for updates and stuff. But look at that. I mean, this point in this keeps up. me going. You know, people yeah. back in the day they said, oh, look, "Mike, we got one on yeah. Giza Dream Sheets." Mike Lindell rocks, and I love your Giza Dream <laughs> Sheets. So thank you, Melanie Thomas, right. for that one. Do you know, back in the day, people would say to me this before I got up to this level of doing all this other stuff now for my evangelical platform. But back then, people go, "Mike, how can you?" Have have this much passion for a pillow 15 years after you invented it and I said it's because I hear from people their stories I love helping people and I have read uh, some right. of these 
what tes testimonies right. almost yeah. on how yeah. people get in car wrecks right. and the only pillow that makes them like feel better and be right. able to relieve their neck pain right. from this yeah. is the my pillow it's yeah. crazy i love reading that now those are implied claims now yeah thank you see he gets it he knows what it's like he has to deal with lawsuits yeah, yeah. yeah right that's it's true. hilarious but uh yeah and you know what and right now it's everybody's encouragement of what i'm doing now for this country I'm, it just helps me so much. It helps the group that we put around us that are um, all of them. I don't want to name any names, but they're just amazing people that I've put around. And I want to, everybody out there, if you want to pray for some, you pray for Arizona and those people out there that are fighting hard for our country. And there's great things going on there, I'm telling you. So uh, get behind them today because uh, uh, from Doug Ducey on down, we're doing recalls. So you guys, that's some big news. Stay tuned. Breaking again. news. Breaking we're gonna, news. <laughs> we're going to send it back to the panel here so you guys can watch that. President Trump again speaks at 3.40 p.m. today. So um, we're looking forward to that. It'll be right here. And hopefully we we'll, can have you back after the president's speech. We'll right, see how yeah, it goes. Yeah. All right. Yep. Thank you all. God bless. Thank you.